from the works of St. Peter Biscasius, Bishop of Chaim. In the name of and for the glory of God, our Creator and Redeemer, who is, was, and will be always, and has instructed us, saying, I do not wish the death of a sinner, but that he be converted and live. I have noticed that many of those who live in slavery lose hope in the mercy of God on account of their sins, like Cain, who, after killing his brother Abel, despaired and went in perdition, or like Judas, who, after betraying Jesus, despaired and hung himself from a tree. Besides, I have noticed also that they ignore the law of Christ as well as the deceptive law of the Moors, who find pleasure in leading the believers away from their faith. This situation has moved me to pity, since our Christians could lose their souls because they do not know the truth. Our Lord said in the Gospel, Do not fear those who deprive only the body of life, Rather, fear him who can destroy both body and soul. Therefore, trusting in the word and mercy and goodness of God, I have translated the history of Muhammad from Latin into our language, as I have found it in the books written by some of our historians. I have added also passages from the gospel, the letters, and other canonical books which are read in the Holy Church. My friends, it would be more profitable for you to use your time in reading or listening to this book rather than to tell or listen to stories. Therefore, I beg and exhort you to keep it or hear it and try to understand it because you will find in it the arms to defend yourselves from the enemies of your faith. In fact, no one is considered to be a good Christian unless he enjoys hearing the word of God. Be stout-hearted and console yourselves in our Lord Jesus Christ, for whom you bear chains, prison, hunger, ridicule, and many other afflictions and sufferings. Persevere in patience and bless in all, and always our Lord Jesus Christ, who has made you partakers of the sufferings of the saints who suffered similar and even greater pains for him. Because as we participate in their sufferings, so we will be partakers of their consolation. In fact, St. Paul says, as we share in the suffering, so we will share in the consolation. If God chastises us and puts us to the test, we must say with Job, we accept good things from God, should we not accept evil? The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. What father among you will give his son a snake when he asks for a fish? or hand him a scorpion if he asks for an egg. If you, with all your sins, know how to give your children good things, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit and the good things to those who ask him? This, my friends, is the counsel of our Lord. Put it in practice because it is said that it is beneficial to trust in the counsel of the wise. Therefore, let us believe in the Lord, 
Let us beg and invoke him with insistence, and he will hear us. Let those who don't know how to read pray often the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the Creed. I trust that Jesus Christ, who has redeemed and bought us with his precious blood from the tyranny of the devil, will soon deliver us from the power of these enemies and change our tribulations into joy and consolation for our bodies as well as for our souls. Amen. From the works of St. Peter Pascasius, Bishop of Chaim.